chartreuse here. Today we've got my Apple IIc for the Space Warb contest. So I had to pull out the book because I never was good with the Apple IIc. Thought I was actually playing with this before the week came up. So I think I'm quite good on that. Got my set of floppies. Clean this thing up. It was in pretty dirty shape. The keyboard still bothers me a little. But eh, what can you do? And it's hooked up to my monitor 3. I don't have the correct monitor here. Let me try to get this clear. As you can see, I just won a game. I'll show you the clip there of that last shot finally going in and hitting him. One misfire in there. But yeah. Was well, fun. You try to get the serial port from my tough book over here, over the actual serial. Using a sorry for the mess. Uh, image writer cable here hooked up to the serial port. I did get ADT Pro on here. Did get ADT Pro on, and I did get was it modem.mgr, but I could not get the file to actually transfer complete correctly over uh, X modem. I had to use a serial and I was having so many issues there even running at a slow transfer speed to actually get this program so let's actually break out control C oh. okay I guess control C is not working today um, I'll reset and we're out of 80 column um, so if we list this out here now Sorry for the glare, it's the only one getting light here. We've got it typed in. I made a few modifications to source code, mainly just to stop it from scrolling on so many lines, because I was having issues with scrolling. I guess. I don't know what the issues truly were, but as you can see it loaded in just fine. Transferred over at 9600 baud at roughly 40 characters a second with all the spacing I added. And apparently when I run it, it seems to lose some of the data. I'm not sure about that. Because if I... I guess it's overwriting it somehow, because if I reload... I, I won't be able to run it again, but if I load it again from disk... Yeah, I get an undefined statement error. But if I uh, load it again, because I'm running ProDOS here... Um, oh. I load Space War. List, let's say 2470, 2470, comma. It's all there still. So I don't know what the program do does, but that uh, I think that low mem command is just enough to start overriding the bottom of this. So whenever I run it and that low mem command is run, yeah, it does that. But let's try and cut out the glare for you guys. There we are. All right, now that the blinds are shut, we are going to actually start a game, as demonstrated. So we're going to let's play one players. We're going to see if we can get four stars to spawn. No, I don't think they're going to spawn. Um, okay, uh, Control C. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that low mem command is overriding it. Oh, no, it didn't do it this time. Alright, one. Four stars. Yeah, I'm on. No, I, I don't think I. Oh, there we go, it did it. Okay, so we got four stars spawned this time. Oh, those are close. Oh, okay, got a binary star system here, apparently. And we don't really have to deal with them that much. So it's not the best spawn for the players. It would be cool if one was hidden up in the corner. Let's just try and take him out here with a negative. Uh, about negative 45. Let's try negative 45 at 15. I think those stars are big enough to curve that in a bit. Might have done it too much. Might not have given enough velocity. But hopefully, 
If we get out of this star's range, they shouldn't be pulling as hard, and it should. Oh, maybe we didn't do enough. We did too much. Oh, this game keeps you on your nerves. Never know if it's actually going to hit or not. Yes. Yes. Ooh, can we do it first try? I think we got it. Yeah. Here we go. Is that collision yet? There we go, we hit it. First try. You saw that first. Alright, Apple II. And that is the Apple II. C. And there's your drop before you call mode.